so welcome to the 10th Wake machine learning tutorial and this is a continuation of machine learning tutorial 9 so in this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can use the filter method in order to select uh, the features from your feature vector so unlike wrapper method what filter method does is uh, it uses an attribute evaluator that evaluates the attributes or features and a ranker to rank all the features in your data set. So you are having a list of features uh, that have some ranks uh, given by a particular algorithm, a ranker algorithm, and uh, in association with an attribute evaluator. So the number of features you want to select from your feature vector can always be defined. That's why I have bold and italicized all in red, because all means you can, all, uh, you can always have the options to select all the features, to rank them, and it, uh, also you, you have the options to find out, okay, you can say that, I can I get the best 10 features according to their ranks out of my 50 features? So that's always possible for you if you're working with Wake Workbench. And after having the ranked features, you can omit the features one at a time that have the lower ranks from the bottom of your rankings and you can see the predictive accuracy of your classification algorithms with the ones that are not omitted that are retained that have the higher ranks well the pro one problem with filter method is the weights put by the ranker algorithms uh, in order to rank the features in your feature vector uh, that can be different, very different than the weights put by classification algorithm. So you always have the possibility of being overfit. Uh, your model can be really overfit because the weights put by ranker algorithms and the weights put by classification algorithms, they differ. So the ranker algorithms are used to rank your features and by omitting one feature at a time from the rank list provided by these ranker algorithms you are now using a classification algorithm like naive base or pegging to see how uh, how uh, the classification algorithms are performing on your data set with the features that are not omitted to demonstrate we can go to the weka explorer and i'm using the iris of iris uh, data set again so in select attributes you can choose the attribute evaluator i'm going to choose info gain attribute evaluator this is my favorite uh, when i'm using the ranking so we can choose that and you can see that best first was selected as the default but best first search search technique uh, you, you don't have to use that uh, you are not allowed to use that for filter methods because in, because in filter you are not actually searching for any subsets. You, you are already known uh, that you are going to uh, evaluate every single feature in your feature vector. So it says you must use the ranker search method in order to use the info gain attribute eval. And should I select the ranker search method for you, I gladly accept that. So you can see the search method is now uh, turned into ranker from best first and you can click on the search method you can see that we have numbers of options none to select minus one means give me all the rank list uh, we have uh, in the pre-process tab we can see that we have uh, four features plus one is the class feature so uh, that minus one means okay rank all the four features so if you want to select the best two, you can always uh, put two in num to select uh, field here. So if you want to know more about ranker algorithm, you can see that it ranks attributes by their individual evaluations used in conjunction with attribute evaluators, evaluators like relief, F, gain ratio, entropy, etc. So it provides a good, uh, good start, good uh, start with the ranking. So the start said, yeah, I'm just I'm just ignoring them because this is the default as I'm using them in my research. So I'm just saying that okay, num to select a minus one, and I'm clicking okay. If you click on info gain evaluator tab, then you can see that 
binarized numeric attributes you're saying false okay i'm not i'm not going to need that missing march uh you're not going to need that as well because this is just simple uh tutorial to demonstrate how filter method works so you can see that uh, the info gain attribute evaluator evaluates the worth of an attribute by measuring the information gain with respect to the class and we have some informations here as well how uh, this info gain is calculated so you click OK and we are using the full training set and we are trying to classify the instances on the basis of the nominal class the number five attributes of this data set that's called class so we we click start and you can see that we have we have our features now ranked so this is the score the ranking score the rankers algorithm some uh, inner mechanisms to give scores to the features you don't have to be worried about that we have some ranks and we have the attribute number and attribute names here so the most prominent feature here is number three then comes four then comes one and and uh, at the last position we have sepal weight so now what you can do in order to in order to get the best set of features uh, you have the ranking here you can see that two is at the bottom you can go to the pre-process tab and you can omit two and you can remove that you go to the classify tab we're using the naive base and this is uh, uh, the accuracy of precision recall if score and uh, the results without uh, the number two attributes you can see that the number two has changed now we have now three features and the class attribute then comes number one so you can go to the pre-process tab and you can omit uh, number one from them and you go again to classify tab and you use the naive basic we can well, now you can see that we are having a different results so this is by omitting one feature and now this is by omitting the second feature so by this way you can always take a look at the incorrectly classified instances this is four percent if i omit one feature according to the ranking we omitted the feature that that was sitting at the bottom of the ranking list and this one in this case we have the incorrectly classified instances also at four percent so now what you can do is you can plot the learning curves by excluding one feature at a time from this ranked list and by examining the learning curves uh, according to my research i can say up to what point i can omit uh, the features from this ranked list because we can have some ups and downs in learning curves and you can always reach to the global minimum uh, in your learning curve and then after reaching that global minimum uh, the error rate or uh, this information here incorrectly classified instances that goes high and high and it never comes back to the global minimum so at that point you can say after reaching to the global minimum uh, your uh, data set is now getting overfitted your classifier is now getting overfitted if you omit a single feature from your rank list so I stop there and up to that point the numbers of features I omitted from the rank feature list I omit them and the features that are remaining after reaching the global minimum that's my best possible feature set so in this way I select my features that performs the best with a particular algorithm now the problem I was talking about is in select attributes you can see that we use ranker algorithms to rank and these are the rankings but for naive base this this is very different the naive base uh, in naive base we evaluate the features differently than the algorithm in rankers so uh, this is very possible from my exper experience I can say that uh, if you're using a classification algorithm to uh, get the predictive accuracy of your classifier and you're using rankers algorithm to rank the features then this is always possible that you can experience an overfit uh, in in the classifier you are designing or you are trying to develop so I always prefer the first one wrapper method for this particular task and I also can tell you that wrapper method is useful for machine learning tasks whereas 
uh, the filter method that's useful for data mining tasks because in data mining you can have thousands or millions of features and at first glance you just want to reduce that hundred or thousand or million features set to uh, down to 50 so in order to do that you, you always can run a filter method technique the one I showed you here and you can omit the features that are sitting at the bottom of the rank list but in machine learning task when you are when you are aware of the features that are really prominent in that case all you can do is you can use the wrapper method to find out the best subset of features that performs the best with a particular classification algorithm and then you can evaluate uh, uh, evaluate the uh, evaluate the performance of a classifier that you develop from that particular classification algorithm with the subset of features that you have produced uh, so that's it for today i think that helps you in selecting attributes or selecting features from a large number of uh, feature vector thank you